Well, we are at the beginning of the Portage Trail into this backcountry lake. So we towed the canoe out here and uh, now we're going to portage in and leave our boat tied up and uh, go camping for two or three, ni three nights, honey? Three nights. And go camping for three nights, so we're super excited. You gonna go fishing, honey? Fish? We're there, Russ. We're there. Carrying a paddle. It's okay. You're good. You're good. down and then left over the way. Uh, two food barrels. Yeah! Hot in there. Right. <laughs> Here you go, bud. I mean, why don't we just leave it overhanging like that? Because I don't feel comfortable with Wes overhanging. I think it's fine. I mean, we could just fold the whole thing down and fit it all in, but we don't have to paddle that far. I think we just leave him overhanging. It'll be funny. Well, we could put him on that side so he's not overhanging, you know? Okay. Yeah. And his weight's more centered. There you go. There you go, bud. Well, we have a new uh, um, wagon for Wesley. And it's a little bigger now we could fold it and pack it all away but we don't have horrifically far to paddle so we've decided just to leave it over the side that way we can just pick them up put them on the ground and wheel them up to the campsite so a little unorthodox but we're sort of rolling with the punches here hey Wes good job bud gotcha. Gotcha. you're in the boat gotcha. how do we have this much stuff huh um i overpacked <laughs> i was thinking it was a motorboat trip All in here, all these white pines are burnt. A forest fire came through here. This is the campsite right here. Can you jump in the water here? Oh yeah. Yeah, so you can run and jump right off here. We're at the campsite, Huddy. <sighs> 
This is our campsite. Mm, boop, boop, boop. You gotta wipe your face, huh? Beautiful sight, eh? So nice. Incredible. Well, we have a beautiful, beautiful evening here. Bit of an adventure getting in here and uh, uh, getting all the stuff into the canoe quickly and paddling out to the site after uh, a long motorboat ride. But um, beautiful, beautiful spot here. We're camped in an old burn, not a serious burn, uh, not a burn that killed any of the mature trees, but uh, definitely a lot of the trees are blackened around here and uh, really peaceful. Bugs aren't out yet, it's too early for bugs. And uh, hopefully we get into a couple uh, speckled trout here. In a little bit but first things first we got to set up the tent we're just basically trying to fight against darkness settling in here but uh, we think that you know we're gonna really enjoy ourselves here uh, nice spot definitely the kids are gonna have their life jackets on all the time because we're close to the water and that but uh, you can already tell they're having fun and I'm looking forward to getting some food we're pretty hungry getting a nice fire going so I'm just gonna go cut some wood <laughs> We're just using this uh, beauty little cold steel trail boss here. Just gonna use this to limb, maybe split some of the bigger pieces, but super packable. Sort of like a Hudson Bay axe size, but uh, with a more uh, modern style bit. Check it out. And it burns fast. Plus he's pumped. Push. Oh, 
I have two packages of Sidekicks, and I didn't realize I grabbed two different ones, but they're both creamy, you know, Alfredo, basically. And I added some pepperoni jack links to pepperoni add some meat jack to link. it. Hell yeah. And they'll like rehydrate in here, right? And then I just added the mushrooms to it because I just figured whatever, but now I'm starting to regret that decision. Apple. Dad. No, no, eek. How do you eek? Dad. Wow! Oh. Oh, hi. Okay, uh, Those old Jack Link sausage. Yeah, the little kick with the spice. Yeah. yeah. The sausage. Good job, Wesley. Good man. standing, Wesley. Good job. Well, um, Huddy had to go to bed because he's very overtired. Way past his bedtime. We definitely had to roll with the punches getting to camp later on and getting the kids fed and they stayed up late, but you know what? If you're going to be worried about getting them to bed at exact bedtime every time doing stuff like this, you're going to get stressed out, in my opinion. Anyway, so uh, he's protesting. He doesn't want to go to bed, but we had a very nice time. Tori made some delicious... Um, soup, almost like a stew. Very good. Wesley ate his dinner. Huddy ate his dinner. And uh, we're ready to turn in. Beautiful, beautiful full moon. I took a few casts. I got uh, some very nice bites, but wasn't able to land anything. So hopefully we can get into some trout tomorrow. See how that goes. But um, I'm going to just uh, take all our you know, food items and move them good distance away from camp uh, just in case there's bears and we're gonna have a nice sleep there's Wes and he is right there going down to about uh, five degrees Celsius so not terribly cold but we have our warm winter sleeping bags
Well, I can see uh, Tori's up. He got up super early, about seven, and there's a nice mist out on the lake. I saw a big fish. This lake was a, a natural speck lake, cold, deep water lake that my grandfather fished and caught like massive fish out of here in the late 60s, early 70s. And then they stalked Splake in it. And then <clears throat> um, somebody threw largemouth bass in it, which has just pretty much ruined any remaining trout fishery. And it's not even really a cold water lake like this. It's not swampy, it's deep, it's cold. Isn't really a good place for largemouth bass to live either. Um, but then uh, the ministry stalked it back to what it originally had in it, which was speckled trout. And, uh, you know, I think I hear they put in larger size ones and that way they're not so worried about the bass predation. But this morning at camp, I saw probably like a two pound bass. And I know since it's been stocked, it gets hit pretty hard in the winter. Some of these stocked lakes, I don't know. I found like the fish kind of can be hard to find. They're almost easier to target through the ice. And then, um, yeah, when you come in the uh, spring after ice out and fish for them, there's not a lot. I've noticed that in a couple times coming into uh, spring fishing in some of these more recently stocked trout lakes. So anyways, that's kind of a bummer, but I'm definitely not going to give up. I'm <clears throat> just using uh, a number two MEPS Black Fury Yellow Dot. Pretty good speck lure. And then, uh, then to troll, I'm using this uh, Williams Nipigan spoon. It's got a little eye on it. Um, I've heard good things for this one for, for trout. So, I'm gonna troll back, but yeah, a little, a little disappointed. I told Tori we'd be catching trout in here, so you never know until you try, I guess, though. But I once caught splake in here in the summer on a slip bob. Wait, I never caught it. I waited there patiently for like three hours and then had it right up to the boat and didn't have a net and lost it. lost it Do you like the bird?
can't, I mean, I'm... You want a juice box? No. Yeah. Okay. No. Butter is gonna help. Nice. nice. Suspects over here. a relaxing morning here um, ate food I fed Wesley Tori cooked up a feast it was awesome I did some fishing no luck and uh, we think we are going to go for a hike today we got a beautiful day unseasonably warm outside um, and the bugs aren't out yet it's still too early in the season so we're gonna take advantage of that and uh, hike up to a beautiful vantage point and then we'll probably come back here and I'll uh, do some more fishing this evening and hopefully we can get a couple trout for dinner we'll see um, but yeah super excited to uh, do some activities with the kids today and carry them up to a great vantage point it's gonna be fun
This is a squirrel minion here. You can see all those uh, pieces of pine cone. For many, many years, squirrels eat cones in this location. Some of these can be huge, be very, very old. See here. They break apart cones like this to eat the fruit, which is like a nut very inside, but look at how so deep down that goes quite a ways. Alright, we have a pretty steep climb here in front of us, honey. Steep part here, huh? Good job, Wes. Good job, guys. Wesley. Yeah, that's Wesley. This is kind of the last of the climb, but goes up pretty steep here. Let me try to bang this off. Cabin up here. It's fun. Climb, Hattie. Yeah. Good climb, Wes. Good job, bud. You did it, Wesley. Yeah. Well, it appears that we were greeted by a few black flies when we got up here. As soon as it's nice, we're out here, and I'm like, oh yeah. The bugs. The bugs. Can't win. You for, I forget every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every year I'm like, I, I'm like, oh, it's nice, let's get out. And then I'm like, oh yeah, the bugs I'm are being eaten alive. But if it weren't for bugs, there'd be way more people yeah. out here. Right? Anyways, I'm just gonna put some uh, muskall family and kids. Um, this is a good thing to use. Uh, muskall family and kids just get it at Canadian Tire. When used properly, it's non-toxic and it works. So that's kind of awesome. Yep. Yeah, they're not really biting yet, but I'm just gonna spray this on my hands and then just get up around Huddy's hairline there. So one on his face. There you go, bud. There you go. There's bugs off of you, huh? There's bugs off of you. Huddy, you wanna go into the, sh into the cabin? Cabin? Yeah, you want to go in the cabin? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Right. Cabin. Yeah. Easy. Good job. Good job. Ready? Good job. Yeah. 
Look. Oh, pine cones. Good. Three. Pine cone. Pine cone. Pine cone. Yeah, yeah, pine cone. Well, I am really glad we decided to do this. Awesome view. Um, it's a place that I've been to since I was Tuddy and Wesley's age and many times since then. So it's really nice to share this spot with my kids and pass on that tradition. But it's kind of feeling like we can't chill out here too much because of all the steep rocks and that with Huddy running around. So we're going to, uh, oh, easy Huddy. Uh, so we are going to uh, pack the kids up and make our way to another spot, a beautiful spot, a different campsite than where we're camped. There's more space and uh, make a fire and get some hot dogs going and uh, grab a bite to eat. So on to the next adventure. Pine cone. Like I remember the those oak leaves work good. Okay. Yeah, throw them all on. I like to uh, skewer the wiener lengthwise, personally. Uh, there's many other ways to do it. Tori does it like a T. And you know, it's just, it's whatever works for you, but uh, as long as you think it through, it'll probably be okay. I am because I like crispy and so the more edges Heading towards myself. I just know somebody's gonna say something about it. We got to this campsite and the kids both conked out, exhausted, fast asleep. So Tori and I are not gonna lie, enjoying these few childless moments. And uh, yeah, beautiful freaking day, amazing. And we're just uh, roasting up some hot dogs for I guess what would be now a late lunch. Um, really beautiful hike up to that lookout and uh, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, view of the lake from this campsite too. So yeah, having a blast out here. Wild squid. It looks like a crab. Okay, okay. So I think crab dog would be more mm -hmm. appropriate, but. That's crazy. I like my uh, traditional way, not all funky.
gotta wrangle that squid dog, eh? I'm gonna wrangle it. What a day. That was awesome. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, honey, you're not getting any lighter, that's for sure. Whew. Oh. Whew. Are you sleeping? No. You look very tired. What are you laughing about, Wessie? Oh. Wessie had a fun day, eh? I don't know. Oh. saw a bunch in the shallows at the end of the lake, so I might try there or just along this shore. Fish, honey. Fish. Fish. Got one. Well, not my target species, but this was a speck lake and somebody came thinking, oh, let's make it a good bass lake and introduce bass to it. Just somebody, not the ministry or anything. And that's kind of destroyed the trout fishery, but then the ministry's gone ahead and stocked it again. But uh, that's an invasive species in this lake. When my grandfather used to fish this lake, there was none of these in there, but they uh, heavily predate the trout, but still it's not bass season. So as much as it would probably be good to dispatch this thing and feed it to the dog, I should let it go. What's that, honey? Fish. 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 Fish, look. Mama, hi. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
buddy. North. Everything I ever said bad about this thing, I take back. Oh, yeah! 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 This is a whole other level of chill. Um, today was fun. It was an adventure. I went fishing this morning, no luck. In fact, I'm starting to question the validity of this being a viable trout lake. I gave it a couple good shots and caught nothing but a largemouth bass but oh well it doesn't really take away from everything an enormous amount it'd be great if we were catching some but uh, all in it's it is kind of hard to get it serious fishing when you got the little ones to take care of so um, uh, unless it's uh, unless they're biting you know it, you might not end up catching as much as you'd hoped I'd noticed but uh, yeah today was a lot of fun um, you know we had pretty easy pace this morning uh, went for a trek with the kids, found a, view, a beautiful, went up to a beautiful vantage point, a beautiful view of, of the lakes and the hills and the forest. Um, went down to another campsite and uh, after making our way there we made hot dogs, the kids had a nap and then we came and uh, back to our camp here and Huddy and I did a little fishing. I was amazed with how great Huddy did. I mean, a couple times he was making some noise and, and stuff like that, but really he was patient and I made him a little little kid's fishing rod just with a, a string and a stick and a little pine cone. And he was playing with that and you know, just being, I was amazed and moving back and forth in the canoe, but not making it tippy and, not falling out and all that so that was awesome um so yeah i just got to kind of cruise around the lake saw a beaver there and uh tori's been back at camp getting some food going we are having moose steaks tonight um if you see the video called eastbound moose hunt uh, me tori wesley and hudson all flew into a remote off-grid cabin in newfoundland and uh, i did a moose hunt there well that's where these steaks are from um, what are they again? Uh, what kind of steaks? Uh, yeah, so we're having a couple of moose blade steaks, uh, tenderizing them, and they look like they're going to be really juicy and delicious, so we're excited about that. And uh, yeah, we've got some broccoli going, and we're going to have a nice meal. Um, tomorrow's another day. We might do a little bit of fishing tomorrow. We're undecided what's going on, whether we're going to stay tomorrow night and leave Monday or whether we're going to leave tomorrow, we don't know. But um, either way, we're really enjoying ourselves and having perfect weather doesn't hurt. Absolutely gorgeous day. Um, so yeah, can't complain about anything. Loving out here. Steaks, just little guys like that. And um, they've been marinating. What, what are you marinating them in, Terry? Well, I put a tenderizer on them and then I also put um, um, Montreal steak spice. Yeah, so we got some Montreal steak spice after they've been tenderized. Fish just jumped right there. Potentially over then. Uh-uh. Huh? You got one? Uh-uh. He's literally playing with his food. One, two, one. See? That's it, honey. Sing it. This is a lot of food. Okay. Maybe Huddy wants some broccoli. I don't know. Huddy, did you eat that? Do you want more?
Honey, honey. Honey. No, this is an over season, honey. No. Oh, finish what's in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> he just turned back and forth over his mouth open. Wait. Hold on, honey. How do you like this? <laughs> Howdy. 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 He loves it, eh? Yeah. Hey. I got him. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, hon. Help. Can you help? Yeah. Uh, quickly. What do I need to do? Thank you. Got it. Frog. Hey, frog. I see frog. What does the frog say? Ribbit. 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 Say hi. Show us. Bye, bye, bye. Let's see. Look, a frog. A frog. Let's see. Look, a frog. What's that? Here. He likes it. A frog. Wes. Look. Look. Hey. Look. Yeah. 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 What's this? Yeah, that's a frog you're touching. Mm. Yeah, you're touching a frog. Mm. Yeah, honey. Yeah, Wesley likes touching the frog. Yeah. Yeah, good job, honey. Did you touch it? Yeah. Good job. Mm. Wesley likes to touch the frog. Oh. Wesley likes to. Yeah, Wesley's smiling when he touches it, eh? Hey, touch the frog, Wesley. Hey. Yeah. That's a frog. Yeah, you're touching a frog. Okay, it's okay, honey. It's okay. You sad, eh? Bye bye, frog. Bye bye. Bye bye, frog. Hey.
Uh-oh, the spoon's a little wet. We're going to stick to the spoon, Wesley. Ready? One, two, three. Two, three. Good job. This is uh, Lance Alprazol. It's for acid reflux, so we have to give it to him um, half an hour before eating first thing in the morning. So we just gave it to him and we'll wait about half an hour and then he can eat his breakfast. How do you already walk like way back into the woods yeah, there? Yeah, well, he's been awake since like. And he went up and down the hill least. like four times with me, catching frogs and getting water. So out of ten, the banana? banana that you made, the chocolate banana. Uh, I would say it was like a seven. Seven. Yeah, it was like, it was good, but it wasn't like, I wish I put more chocolate in it, basically. Is it, is it going to be like a paddle like a girl mainstay? Yeah. See, it's easy to forget that he's still just a little baby who wants to be rocked. Well, because he's so mobile, you know? Alrighty. Having my morning coffee. Huddy was up early repetitively slapping Tori in the face today while she was trying to sleep. So he's already having a nap. Wesley's having fun. When we let the frog go, Huddy was was uh, sad and he was crying and he was saying like, boat, boat, like he thinks that I let the frog go and it should have a boat or something. I don't really know, but he got over it. Um, so yeah, we're just going to, pff, we realize that we have something to do early afternoon tomorrow which is kind of a bummer but it's a fundraiser uh for wesley school to build a playground for special needs kids accessible playground yeah an accessible playground for special needs kids and wesley raised the most money in the entire school at land of lakes in burks falls um out of anybody wesley raised the most i think it might have had something to do with tori maybe she kind of like Get through to, uh, Wesley like a couple pointers, but uh, I didn't even barely even knew this was going on. So just like that's how amazing Tori is, just like a little like side hustle I don't even know about, and she's just like raising money and all this kind of stuff. So we're really excited they're going to get this accessible playground. But we have to pick up the things and deliver them to the people that got them, and you know for the fundraiser and all that. And we have to be back tomorrow early, and we only remembered recently, so. We're gonna have to get out of here. Um, all in all, great trip. If the fish were just like biting like crazy, I would say let's just like leave at 6 a.m. tomorrow. But uh, unfortunately, we are super stoked to get into some speckled trout here, but uh, it's been a little slow. I haven't even seen one, just seen bass. So that's kind of a bummer. Uh, maybe the lake got sock and got hit hard, or maybe I'm just blowing it and don't know what I'm doing. It's a possibility, I don't know. But uh, it's not taken away from it too much because it's so nice out, like perfect day. We have perfect southern exposure here and uh, we're going to cook up some pancakes. And before too long, we're going to load that canoe up and uh, do the challenging task of uh, we kind of packed more for like a motorboat camping trip than a canoe trip. And we kind of regret it because the portaging into here seemed to be harder than we'd anticipated. Anyways, yeah, so we're really enjoying the slower pace of this trip. Um, the hiking yesterday, the adventures and all that, we're, we're kind of bummed that we have to leave a little early. Um, we do also like the faster paced trips where we're changing camps every day, exploring new territory. When you're used to traveling like that, sometimes just staying in one campsite can feel like there's nothing to do. Um, but at the same time, it's a, it's a nice opportunity to kind of uh, adventure in a different way explore in a bit of a different way and just have a little more time to relax so the kids are loving it we're loving it north is loving it um and so it's you know stacking up to be another awesome family adventure <sighs> Ooh. Yeah. 
Somebody's a happy boy. Your face is covered in oatmeal, you cutie. Did you catch a frog? Yeah. You <laughs> did. Well, if you saw, we uh, we towed this canoe with a motorboat to get in here, and uh, there's a special way that you can tow a canoe uh, so that you can go fast. Um, of course, we didn't have to go that fast because we had a, a fully loaded boat, so we, we couldn't exactly fly. But uh, still, it helped a lot, especially because our wakes were big. If you tow a canoe just from up here, um, you can't go fast because the water will hit it and it'll tip. So where you want to tow a canoe from is from the, um, from the keel line at the bow, so from down here. So I'm just going to show you how to rig a bridle and uh, you'll be able to tow your canoe much, much better, going much, much faster. So I've just taken some uh, 500 pound test parachute cord and a big loop, just what I had. You don't need a loop near this big, but, and I tried to press a knot around this, this uh, webbing. This is the, honestly probably the fastest way to do it. Uh, press it's good because you can slide the knot to get it in the right spot. Uh, yeah, I think it's the, the fastest way to do it is with a cinch strap. And then you put one under one way, one under the other way. So I've looped this one this way and this one this way under the carrying handle. And you just give that a real good tighten. Tight as you can get it. Tie it off a few times. A lot of uses for cinch straps actually in the bush. Um, I recommend just grabbing one after if you tie down your canoe with them. Take one along, use it as your bow line. Attach my uh, tow rope to this. And that'll be right at the keel line. I'll pull from right here. And the canoe, if water hits on the side, won't dump. It'll just ride and you can go quite fast like that. So that's the way to do it if you're ever towing a canoe with a motorboat. So we have a wee setback. Uh, right as we were ready to load into the boat, Huddy had a massive explosion and all his clothes have been heavily soiled. So, looks like we might have to do some laundry before we head out there. It's all in his pants. Let me go scrub off his pants. Well, we, I can just pull, like at this point I might as well just pull out another pair of pants. And Should I bring bag. up the yellow bag? Okay. Well, you don't know, I mean, if you want to bring a whole bag up here, but stand up, honey, please. Stand up, bud. It's okay. Stand. 
Good job. There you go, huge poop. <laughs> it's almost like you didn't even chew those mushrooms. He hates this. <laughs> he loves it. I'm just gonna put Huddy here because he's. No, there you go, Huddy. He's in the boat. And like put him just lengthwise. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Dada, dada, dada. The wheels.